This was part of a 10-second audio message Russian artist Alona Kazhinskaya posted on her Telegram channel. The night four gunmen rampaged through Crocus City Hall near Moscow. That first message came at 8.01 p.m. after Kazhinskaya and a friend had bought last-minute tickets to see Soviet-era rock group Picnic. I heard shooting. I realized it wasn't scripts. At first, I thought maybe it's a special effect, but then no. It doesn't sound like that. So I poked my friend and she said, People, get up. Let's run. At 8.08 p.m., she wrote three messages on her phone in quick succession. Please ring the police. Crocus City Hall. Shooting. Kashinskaya and her friend had managed to escape the hall, but found themselves still trapped inside the building. The shooting stopped, but there was now another danger. Fire. The gunmen had used gasoline to set the huge concert hall ablaze and the two friends took refuge in a toilet. They tried half a dozen times to get out, but were forced to keep retreating. At 8.23 p.m., she left a four-second audio message. She thought it would be her last. I love you. Goodbye. Then, eight minutes later, at 8.31 p.m., another message. I'm alive. I'm in an ambulance. I got out. Thank you. I didn't realize I was safe. I had only two thoughts. First, I need first aid because I can't breathe. My lungs were burning. And I was having an asthma attack. And the second thought was I have to get as far away from the building as I can. Get behind the cars as fast as possible. Because if something happens, I am a target. I am in white. Those two thoughts, and somehow I made my way forward. Returning home, Kashinskaya says she just hugged everyone. She says she draws comfort from the amount of support she has received, but that it will be a long time before she goes to clubs or big concerts again. I looked up five balance sheets on money control. I'll do it on the fly. This took me exactly three minutes, thanks to money control. First uh, thing to come up is money control. So I don't even have to scroll down to look at it. I click and I get what I want. When I started my career, there was a huge information arbitrage between institutional investors and retail investors. The arbitrage gap between institutional and retail investor has disappeared mainly due to money control. Congratulations, money control, and thank you so much for being there. Absolutely delighted with the news that money control has overtaken the Economic Times. Money control has slowly and steadily become the go-to site for all updates. Money control has good ideas, detailed ideas, stock uh, specific ideas. Life of the uh, market is money control. It says that you get everything uh, what needs to be known.